All right, mate, and welcome to a brand new show on this channel. It's called Accumulate, and this is the World Cup edition. I love the World Cup. I love it. Now, if you're familiar with football and betting, you'll know what an accumulator is. It's basically where you try and predict the results of a lot of different football matches, and the more matches you try and predict, the more money you make. You could do three games, you could do 30 games. Obviously, the more results you try and get right, the harder it's going to be to win. Now, how this show is going to work is I'm going to be putting on an accumulator with a twist. It's me against FIFA. I'm going to try and predict the results of the World Cup games as best as I can. And FIFA is going to do the exact same thing by simulating games on the World Cup version of FIFA 14. At the end, I'll put an accumulator on with all my guesses. FIFA will put an accumulator on with all its guesses. And we'll see who does the best. And for this series, we've teamed up with official England supporters William Hill. And if you want to place your own accumulator at home, they've given us a special link, which is in the description below, which means that for the first £10 you put on a bet, you'll get two free £10 bets with it. That sounds like a good deal, mate. So here's how it's going to work. I've simulated each of the first 16 World Cup games on FIFA. I'm going to show you the highlights from them now, and at the end I'm going to put an accumulator on William Hill with FIFA's results. I'm also going to put my own accumulator on with my guesses, and whoever gets the most of the 16 games results right is the winner. And we're going to do it for the first round, next episode will be the second round, then the third round of group games, and then we'll move on to the knockouts. I also want you guys to get involved as well at home. Leave a comment below with who you think is going to win the games, who you think is going to win the World Cup overall. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, please leave a cheeky like on the video. It's always much appreciated, mate. So without further ado, let's get simulating. Okay, here we are with the first game of the tournament. It's Brazil versus Croatia. You're not going to believe what happens here, guys. Croatia take the lead, according to FIFA, in the 66th minute through a Mandzukic goal. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And they don't finish there. A 90th minute killer. Look at this. Oh, horrible little goal from Modric. So according to FIFA, Croatia are going to win the opening game 2-0. I couldn't disagree more. I'm going with the opposite result. I reckon Brazil will probably win about 2-0. So that's what I'm saying. Second game, Mexico versus Cameroon. And you guys are lucky you didn't have to watch this. I had to watch the whole thing. It was boring. Nothing happened. There was like one shot the whole game. And according to FIFA, this fixture will be 0-0. I think it will be a draw as well. Spain versus Netherlands, one of the biggest games in the tournament, and it was a bit of an anti-climax. The only real chance was for Robin. It was a bit of a goal mouse scramble, but Spain got it clear, and it ended 0-0 according to FIFA. I think Spain will win it, maybe 2-1. Chile versus Australia, the other game in Group B, and Australia took the lead here. Nicely worked goal. Tim Cahill with a shot, falls to Rodic, who finishes it nicely, and then Chile get one back. The Australians fail to clear the ball. It gets picked up by a Chilean who whips it into the box for Alexis Sanchez on the header. Lovely little goal. one all is what FIFA's saying. They think it's going to be a draw. I think Chile are going to win it personally, so I'm going with a Chile win. Colombia versus Greece. Colombia will be big favourites for this one, and FIFA isn't disagreeing with them. A lovely goal here from Gutierrez makes them 1-0 up. And just so you know, guys, I'm just using the default teams on FIFA here. I haven't changed the squad, so some of them might be using players that aren't in the World Cup, but... It's more or less accurate. And here you can see Colombia just about get it in the net, make it 2-0. So FIFA thinks they'll be winning, and I have to agree. I think they will be. Greece do get a late goal back, 89th minute, whips it in, bang, header, making it 2-1. But both me and FIFA agree on this one, Colombia to win. Ivory Coast versus Japan, the only real chance of this match was from a great through ball from Drogba. Jovino has two bites of the cherry, and the second cherry hits the post. But it ends 0-0. FIFA's saying it will be a draw. I think it will be a draw as well. Uruguay versus Costa Rica, the other game from England's Group D. Uruguay will be big favourites for this one, and they do get a goal after a lovely knock from Casares. A great turn from Suarez, who finishes it with his trademark style and makes it 1 0 to Uruguay. I have to agree with FIFA. I think Uruguay will be winning this tie as well. England versus Italy, the big one, and the first chance came to England. Rooney with a lovely square ball over to Welbeck, who couldn't finish it, unfortunately, and then. According to FIFA, Italy are going to go up the other end and break some hearts. The actual goal scorer in this case was Osvaldo, who I'm pretty sure isn't going to the World Cup, but let's imagine it's someone like Immobile or Balotelli. Italy go 1-0 up, according to FIFA. I think it'll be a draw. I back England to get a result there. I'm going for a draw. Switzerland versus Ecuador. The Ecuadorian defence make a mistake. Seferovic goes through for Switzerland, squares it into the middle, and it's finished eventually by uh, Chaka, I think you pronounce it. So Switzerland are going to win, according to FIFA. I actually think it could be a draw this game, so I'm going to say a draw between Switzerland and Ecuador. That rhymes. 
France versus Honduras. On paper, France would be massive favourites here. And they had a good chance when Benzema had a header that just went wide. But they failed to score. I think France will win. FIFA thinks it will be a draw. OK, Argentina versus Bosnia-Herzegovina. This is a replay of a goal. Argentina do get the ball. They cross it into the back post. And this lad finds Higuain in the middle, who finishes and makes it 1-0 to the Argentines. And I think I have to agree with FIFA on this one. Argentina surely are going to be winning this game. Iran versus Nigeria. Not really a headline grabber of a game. But Nigeria do take the lead according to FIFA. They get it into the box, get a little bit of luck off the defender and finish into an open net. And FIFA's thinking they're going to win 1-0. I actually think Iran could turn up for this. I think Iran could get a draw, so I'm saying a draw. Germany versus Portugal, another massive clash from the group of death. And unfortunately, like the Spain-Netherlands game, no one finds the back of the net. FIFA has it 0-0, despite two really good German chances. The injured Marco Royce gets the ball into closer, who hits the post and can't finish it. And it ends 0-0. And I think it will probably be a draw as well, to be honest. I don't know if it will be 0-0, but I'm saying draw. Ghana versus USA. Ghana dominate this according to FIFA. Ball comes in here. Great save from Howard. And look at the rebound save. Unbelievable work from Timothy. Keeps USA in it. And Ghana gets a second chance in the 80th minute. Boateng has a shot that hits the post. And USA managed to hold on. And it ends 0-0 according to FIFA. I actually think USA might win this one. They're looking good in their warm-up games. I'm going USA. Belgium versus Algeria. Belgium will be massive favourites here. And FIFA backs that up. Eden Hazard gets the ball in to Kevin De Bruyne, who makes it 1-0 to the Red Devils. And in the second half, Eden Hazard starts off a move. He gets the ball, plays it through to Lukaku, who has a shot, and the rebound falls back to Hazard, who finishes what he started with a lovely little goal and makes it 2-0 to Belgium. So FIFA are saying Belgium are going to win, and I've got to agree with them. I'm going for the Belgium win. And the final game of the first round of matches is Russia versus South Korea. A nicely worked goal here from Russia. Kurtzakov gets it and finishes it, making it 1-0. And they do dominate this game against South Korea, according to FIFA. They get a second goal just before half-time. Faizulin gets the ball to Kurtzakov, who goes back to Faizulin, who puts it back in the box. And Kurtzakov finishes it off with a pretty sick finish to honest, in the top corner. So 2-0 to Russia. I actually disagree. I don't know why, but I fancy South Korea. I'm going to go with a career win for this one. And that's the end of mine and FIFA's predictions. OK, so the bets have been placed. I've put one pound on each accumulator. My accumulator is bringing in some crazy odds of over 171,000 to one. Obviously, getting 16 games right is crazy. I once got eight games right. That's the record. I've got to try and do double this. So it's unlikely I win the whole accumulator, but I want to try and get more results right than FIFA did. Speaking of FIFA, their accumulator is insane. The odds are over 8 million to 1. So from that £1 bet, if FIFA gets all those 16 games right, I get 8 million quid. Well, I get 4 million quid because if FIFA wins, I'm going to give you guys the other 4 million. You can hold me to that. If the FIFA bet comes in with 8 million to 1 odds, I'm going to give you guys 4 million. If my bet comes in with 171,000 to 1 odds, I'm keeping it all for myself. I'm packing up. I'm moving to Bermuda. That's it for episode one of Accumulate World Cup Special. Leave a comment below with what you think of me and FIFA's predictions. And don't forget, if you want to place a bet yourself, click the William Hill link below in the description. I'll see you on the next one. Don't go changing.